So, in case you missed it, a few days ago, while announcing a new Mac Mini, Apple mentioned a new version of Final Cut Pro, even showed a screenshot with a few clues as to what's coming. By the looks of it, this might be a major update. I'm thinking Final Cut Pro 10.9, or do I dare even say it, Final Cut Pro 11? Whatever it is, I'm sure we'll see it soon. But until then, I want to go over my top 10 features I'd like to see in the next version of Final Cut Pro. Number one, and I'm pretty sure we are getting this, is auto captions. During the Apple event, this was one and the only feature that was actually talked about for the upcoming version of Final Cut Pro. And generate captions for a ton of posts. As of right now, you can add captions in Final Cut Pro, but it leaves a lot to be desired. First and foremost, it's not automated. You have to manually type in and time captions in your timeline. This alone makes me not want to do this in Final Cut Pro. But even if you do go through all the steps of manually adding captions, you're very limited to the way you can format them and there's no way to add any animation. And lastly, you cannot burn captions into your video. This means if someone wants to see the captions, they have to manually turn them on. Now, what we do know so far is that Final Cut Pro will use AI to generate captions, but I'd love to see more. I'd love to see some more formatting options for captions, some cool animations, like the ones you can do in CapCut or M Captions, and the ability to burn them right into my project. So basically convert generated captions into title clips. This way, when editing for social media platforms like TikTok or Instagram, where people often watch on silent, we can have our captions automatically show up in their video. Number two on my list is automatic rotoscoping. Now, this wasn't mentioned in the keynote, but if we pause and zoom in on this frame right here, you can see a magnetic mask option in one of the submenus. I don't exactly know what this is, but I really hope this is a rotoscoping tool. I'd love to see something similar to MRoto AI built right into Final Cut Pro. If you're not familiar with MRoto AI, it's a plugin for Motion VFX where you roughly draw over your subject to select it and it automatically tracks and rotoscopes it. I would love this to be a native feature in Final Cut Pro and hopefully it works a little or a lot better than the scene removal tool we got in the 10.6.6 update. Number three is intelligent soundtracks, or even better yet, the ability to easily retime any background music. See, when you use a song in your edit and it's either too short or too long for your project, your options are to either repeat the song if it's too short abruptly stop it if it's too long, or manually chop it up and try to remix it yourself. Now, the iPad version of Final Cut Pro comes with a number of intelligent soundtracks where you just change the length of your music track and Final Cut Pro intelligently adjusts it to end at the right time. The only problem is the number of tracks is pretty limited. I think the last time I checked it was around 90. I would love to see at least this brought to the desktop version of Final Cut Pro. But what I would really love to see is something similar to the Remix feature in Premiere Pro. This allows you to take any music track and automatically retime it to fit your project. I think this would be a perfect use for Apple intelligence. Number four on my list is better keyframe controls. Final Cut Pro has a keyframe problem and it's been there pretty much from day one. The problem is, in most cases, you have no keyframe control. Now, when you keyframe the position of your clip, you get to choose between smooth and linear animation, but that's it. Every other parameter doesn't even have that option. Me and a lot of other Final Cut Pro users would love a way to adjust keyframe animation. And since this is possible in Apple Motion, I really don't see a reason we can't have it in Final Cut Pro. Well, on the topic of Apple Motion, I would love to be able to dynamically link video clips, graphics, or animations between Final Cut Pro and Apple Motion. I'm pretty sure you can do this with Premiere and After Effects. I'm sure this is easier said than done, but I'd love to be able to select a clip in Final Cut Pro and either right click or maybe even add a dedicated button I can use to open that clip in motion. Any effect or adjustment added in motion would automatically be added to that clip in Final Cut Pro. Or maybe add something like a build in motion button where you can click it and automatically be taken to motion to build a custom title, transition, or effect. Once done, this would automatically be available in Final Cut Pro to add to your project. Number six on my list is AI or even text-based editing. Since we know Final Cut Pro will be able to use Apple Intelligence to automatically transcribe our clips, why not have the ability to use that transcript to edit your video, kind of like the script. You just select the parts you don't like in a text-based document, and when you delete them, they're automatically taken out of the video. Or to build on this, why not use AI to perform simple edits for you? 
Gling already does this and it actually does it really well. You just upload your interview or talk and head clip and it transcribes, analyzes and automatically edits it for you. I use Gling for pretty much every video I make and it saves me a ton of time. Something like this, built by Apple and natively available in Final Cut Pro would be huge. Number seven is better integration with the iPad version of Final Cut Pro. I'm sure when Apple updates Final Cut Pro, the iPad version will also be updated. And since you can already edit off an external drive on Final Cut Pro for iPad, why not give us the ability to take our project from the desktop version to iPad? See, right now you can start editing your project on your iPad and transfer it over to the desktop version, but you can't go back. Really? That sucks. If I can move my project back and forth between the two, honestly, I'd probably use Final Cut Pro for iPad a lot more. Number eight on my list, and I know this is asking for a lot, is 3D tracking. The current version of Final Cut Pro comes with an object tracker built in and it's amazing. It's relatively accurate and super fast, but it only tracks your clip in two dimensional space. I would love to see Apple build on this and upgrade it to be a 3D tracker, similar to MTracker 3D from Motion VFX. This would allow us to add cool 3D titles and effects to our clips like this. This was added using MTracker 3D from Motion VFX, so I'm sure Apple can do this too. Hell, even Pixel Film Studios figured this out. Their 3D tracker, the FCPX Auto Tracker 3D, albeit not even close to being as good as MTracker 3D, can track your clip in 3D space. I would love to see Apple upgrade the object tracker to some similar. Another feature that should be a no-brainer, but is still not available in Final Cut Pro, is a picture-in-picture -picture effect. We've been asking for this for a long time, but to this day, we still don't have a picture-in-picture -picture effect in Final Cut Pro. We either have to Frankenstein it by using a transform tool and layering clips, or download a third-party plugin. The one I use is a picture-in-picture -picture plugin from my friend Dylan Bates. I've tried a few different picture-in-picture -picture plugins, but this is by far the best. I'll link it in the description in case you want to check it out. And last on my list is Motion Blur. This is another effect that everyone needs, but it's just nowhere to be found in Final Cut Pro. Just like the picture in picture effect, you can add Motion Blur as a third party plugin, but why is it not in Final Cut Pro? Motion has it, so it'd be super simple to add this to Final Cut Pro, but for some reason, Apple still hasn't. This is a super simple tool that would improve so many projects. I really hope this gets added to Final Cut Pro. An honorable mention also goes to the Show Horizon overlay. This is something I turn on and off all the time during my edits, so why is there no keyboard shortcut for this? You can't even easily add one as a custom keyboard shortcut. Every time, I have to go up to the view menu and turn this on and off. It'd be so much simpler just to have a keyboard shortcut for this. I really hope this gets added in a future update. These are some of the features I'd like to see added to Final Cut Pro. Some, like captions and the magnetic mask, are fairly likely to be added, and others, not so much. But I still want them. Anyways, what do you think the next version of Final Cut Pro will be? 10.9 or 11? Let me know in the comments below. And no, I don't know when it's getting released. Hopefully soon. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.